What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Troy Cardi, Mr. No Filter. Um, can Activision never do it right? That's really the question here. We're going to dive into it maybe a little bit. We're going to break it down. Like well, The issues that are going on right now, what my gripe right now with Activision right now personally is the quality of Call of Duties we've been getting and the decline it's been on since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. After 3, 3 was the last, I mean the original, not the remake. The original last one that was really worth playing or spending any money on, you know? The latest one over three, I didn't even buy it. It felt like a huge, huge DLC update to Modern Warfare 2, which also was a trash game from the jump. And Modern Warfare was decent. The remake recent, of 2019, I think. That was decent. Um, not going to give it all its praise. Uh, it was an okay game, you know? I can't really complain. But uh, Warzone and this Battle Royale game mode they've given us recently within the last few years it's, it's been all right it's been decent i liked it when it was based off of modern warfare 2's i guess gaming engine or whatever the, the difference is between modern warfare 2 and 3 in terms of the movement and whatnot whatever made modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2 like the remake here recently um i've liked certain engineering mechanics of the game way better than modern warfare 3's warzone uh, for, for example, sniping. All right, sniping in Modern for Two DMZ Warzone was is way better, way more accurate, way more fluent than this this bullshit we have now for Modern for Three's DMZ. Um, I mean Modern for Three's Warzone sniping that we're getting. Um, this the gun mechanics. It makes me not even want to snipe anymore. If you see me the sniper rifle in the game, it's because I want to have fun and fuck around with it and maybe get some footage for y'all or some montage uh, montage content. Not because I truly enjoy the game. Like if I'm actually and I'm in I'm in go mode and we're like we're in it to win it. We're trying to hit some shit, get some good scores and whatnot. You will never ever see me running around with a sniper rifle. Actually thinking I'm doing shit because I actually hate it. The shooting mechanics are so inconsistent in this game on Modern Warfare Three. It 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 pisses me off truly. I can't stand it not one bit. Um, and then the the, the money hungry direction that Activision is going in. It's absolutely horrible. All right, put it to you like this. One day, I was playing DMZ, right? And a quad of Nicki Minaj just came around and blew my shit out. Do you know how upset it is? How upsetting it is to, to get your back blown out by Nicki Minaj? Bad bitch with pink hair running around the map. Glossy ass spandex suit. Like, just, just straight hitting shit. I'm like, dog, what kind of play to play bullshit this is? I can't, I, can't, I really can't believe it. I, it, it really pissed me off that day. And I think that's the day I first got my, my first voice ban, um, which is also total bullshit. I hate that. That AI voice monitoring crap. I hate it. I know there's certain words you can't say that might be um, racist or deemed uh, negative towards one another that are like really pushing the line. I get it. But I've literally watched me and my boy get banned uh, sometimes before for saying like the slightest things that, you know, like typical like... It, Come on now, you know the OG Call of Duty beef that y'all have on the mics. Like, y'all know what kind of shit we get into. Like, shit got on you sometimes. And they they took that away from us on a rated M game. If the game is rated M, and y'all are trying to make it a safe space, fucking fire them. Fire him. Whoever's making shit in safe space at Activision, fucking fire him, alright? Fire him. Fire him and fire the dude that keeps letting Infinity Ward design all the games, you know? I need I need Treyarch to come in and step in and do their thing. But back to the AI voice chat. I absolutely hate it. My one boy, he, it, it, it's broken too. One time he got a band lifted. We go into the game the next day. Kid you not. He's usually one of the quieter ones out of all of us. He didn't really say shit that entire game that was in, in, in any terms negative. Didn't even speak to anybody on Prox chat, right? Broke out another immediate ban within like 15 minutes to get into the game. I think we were on um, Resurgence. And he literally got another random voice ban out of nowhere. He didn't even do anything. And I went online and I read instances of this happening to other people also. So it's it's I'm going to go ahead and say the system's broken. It's, it's really stupid. Um, but if in terms of what I really do miss, aside from me, would say whatever we want is uh the best thing we've really gotten from Warzone probably recently was DMZ and mutations. DMZ gameplay was golden. I don't know why they took the support for that away or stopped um utilizing that. In terms of a game mode that was really enjoyable. Um, the Mutations lived, lived for a very short time also. Mutations was one of my favorite gameplays we've had recently in a long time. A very long time. Um, I probably play enjoy playing Modern, the OG Modern Warfare 2 just as much as I play enjoy playing Mutations. Once it's you get the hang of the game. You know what's what and what pills do what and what potions do to send the third. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, I miss that. 
Because Model for, like, oh my gosh, Model for 3's Warzone is just complete and utter trash. I hate it. Um, didn't even buy the game, mind you. I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not. I didn't buy Model for 3. Throw that in the trash also. I played on the free-to-play weekends. And now, look, now it's free for people on Game Pass. What do you know? No one wants, well, no one wants that shit. Because um, most of the things in the game are still broken. Like, aside, well, aside from that being a DLC, number one. Um, number two, like skill-based matchmaking, for example, skill-based matchmaking, certain guns, and the way they come out and buff certain guns immediately within like a week or two of them dropping a season update. Why would you go and drop? Why would you go and buff this shit? Y'all just dropped it. You knew it was about to be OP. You knew it was gonna be uh, just have an advantage over other guns and be favorite in terms of gameplay. I don't get why Activision makes some of the dumb choices they do sometimes. But back to skill-based matchmaking, um, I really can't stand it. I really wish it did have like a complete and utter random matchmaking algorithm i guess you could say like i go on there with myself i go in there with some squad with a squad or i go in there solo whatever the case may be and it truly was a random matchmaking um algorithm because you do good like two or three times maybe and next thing you know you're playing in like like the sweats of phase clan and it's just absolutely ridiculous because it's like yo what, what the fuck like oh, some people don't play this game for complete other stacks like you know i'm not trying to stack all my fucking scores stack, stack all my fucking points whatever the case may be I want to have fun, and it takes away from the aspect of the game being fun if you're trying to switch your way out of a lobby 24-7. It's just, it's, 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 it's an unenjoyable, you know? Um, what else is Activision truly messed up lately? Uh, H, H2M, all right? I was truly looking forward to that. I don't have a PC right now myself yet, but I'm um, currently on Xbox, but I will have a PC very soon. I was looking forward to downloading and playing on the H2M mod, and they had to go and strip that right away from us and send them a cease and desist the day of release after everyone went and bought the game when it was on sale already. Like, that is the dirtiest, most download move Activision could have ever made in their lives. Like, it's, it's complete trash. Like, that should speak volumes and show people that, the people at Activision, that this is what we truly want. We don't want that other bullshit you're giving us. We want remakes of true classic games or guns or guns, gameplay, movement, characteristics. We want things to be how they used to be. Or an actual, you know, an actual remake. If you aren't, aren't going to give us the new game that's like, you know, written like the old one, then give us the old one with minor slight new updates that we can actually play on console. That's the actual release and it's enjoyable. Yeah, get down, get down, knock them down, knock them down. My bad. Anyway, um, and I think that they were afraid of it hurting Black Ops 6's sales. Um, another thing I think they went and did was remove mutations because they were afraid it would hurt Black Ops 6's zombies. Uh, like I said, I would still play both very much. I know Black Ops 6 is going to have a really good zombies that comes out with it. But uh, them taking away mutations as fast as they did, that was also very uh, disappointing. Me and the guys really did enjoy playing that gameplay. And um, we played it religiously also when it did come out. That's all we played. It was the only game type we played in Warzone was mutations. It was very fun. Uh, and then recently, I'm really glad they decided to fix the goddamn Xbox problems on Season 4. And they try to act like it wasn't an issue or like, yo, like, yeah, let's just restart the game or there's no issue or it's an interconnection kind of thing. No, 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 sweetheart. The, the developers wouldn't literally eventually acknowledge this shit. That there was connection issues and quality quality of play issues on the Xbox on Season 4 and it was complete and utter mayhem, you know? Like, sometimes I had an advantage over other people on the map the way I was lagging around and glitching around the map because of the connectivity issues, whatever the case might be. And then other times where I, I was just getting my shit dogged on, like, 100%. Like, I wasn't even holding the controller anymore because of the connection issues for the Xbox in Season 4. Like, I really hate how it took them an entire season for Season 5 to come out for them and address the issues that they messed up on the Xbox instead of fixing that update right then and there. You know, that just also goes to show you how much of a... a assholes activision can really be at the end of the day like they act like they just they can't hear us you know like they can't hear the people in the consumer from time to time and that really does bother me um i can't stand that at all honestly uh but in good news on the up and up really are looking forward towards black ops 6 uh i feel like it should be a really good refresh from what we've been getting for shit games from activision right now um i'm not and don't get me wrong I'm not completely and utterly shitting on the game as it is as a whole, but there's very small aspects of the game to like and very big aspects of the game to dislike. And um, I feel like that's that's part of the problem. And we voice our opinion online and in the gameplay videos on YouTube and in big gamers themselves. We voice our opinion on what's horrible in the game and what we do like and don't like and what's broken and not broken. And they don't seem to listen to us at all. Not one bit. Uh... 
I really am excited though for Black Ops 6. Let's go back to that. Uh, Omni Movement. That seems like it'll be interesting. I feel like it'll probably be getting abused a lot, but uh, and people will rage quit. I feel like a lot of people will, will rage quit um, because of Omni Movement, but I'm very excited to play the game and see how it goes. So, something new. Uh, what else something new is that I don't know if I'm really looking forward to or not is Modern Warfare 4. Apparently, um, there's a bad narrative right now about Modern Warfare 4, supposedly from Insiders and Activision. Um, they don't like the mechanics of the game, and um, they're quote unquote putting Infinity under some pressure in terms of making an actual good game. So, I don't know, could we get an actual good new Call of Duty? Could we get an actual proper Modern Warfare 4 where it's just like the old times, uh, and the game was fun and enjoyable and just not full of pay, pay to wins, play to wins, or um. Retarded mechanics. Like, I don't know what happened to some of the mechanics in Modern Warfare 3, but the game is so broken at times. But, uh, yeah, that's it, y'all. It's your boy Trill signing out. Hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. You got about 30 seconds left. Holler y'all next time. Peace. Advise you head to the safe zone. You got a lot of ground to cover. What is they want us to move? Move. Mm hmm. There's oh, they're all down there. Down one, down one, dead. Woo! Woo! Merry Christmas, boy. Woo! 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 Yeah! Big dogs! Yeah! Mike, Mike, yeah! Yeah! Big dog on that ass! Final kill, final kill was me. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. My back is so my back. My back is so heavy. Woo! Hey, I like this new match. Please. I think they, I think they, they modified this map. I think this is part of um. Thank you, boss. What's that? What's that first island oh, we played man. on? I can't remember the name of that first island we played on. Uh.